This is Bruce Jansen, reporting from the American Heart Association meeting in Orlando. I'm here with Dr. Philip Barter of Sydney, Australia, the discussant for the just presented AIM HIGH study. Uh, Dr. Barter, uh, what's your take on the study? I, I think that the question being asked is a very important question. Does niacin have added effects when added on top of very effective statin therapy? The problem with the trial is that it was too small, too underpowered, and the changes or the difference in HDL between the niacin and the placebo group was very, very small. It would have predicted only around a 10% or less uh, difference in cardiovascular events for a trial that was powered for a predicted 25% reduction in events. As a result, this trial had no ability whatsoever to test the HDL hypothesis or the value of adding niacin. So we don't know whether niacin is good, we don't know whether raising HDL is good, but this trial has not given us the answer. So patients on niacin now uh, should not be stopping it? I have that definitely should not be stopping it because all prior evidence has, been sh has shown that niacin is a very effective agent to reduce both atherosclerosis in coronary arteries, in carotid arteries, and there's a trial that showed it reduces cardiovascular events and death highly significantly. Those, the early trials were before the statin era, but the imaging trials, the carotid IMT, has shown a real reduction in carotid interval medial thickness on top of effective statin therapy. So this study was an unexpected result, but my take on it is I'm not surprised because it was so seriously underpowered, it could not answer the question. The good news is there is another trial with everybody on statins, half on placebo, half on a niacin preparation, that is uh, going to finish within the next 12 to 18 months. That is in 25,000 people. That will give us an answer. If that trial is not positive, yes, that's the end of niacin. But please do not dismiss niacin until we see the results of that trial, or we may be seriously disadvantage our patients by not giving them what looks still as a very effective drug. Thanks very much. This is Bruce Jansen from Orlando at the American Heart Association meeting.